A major policy change is coming to the southern border. President Biden announcing an executive action capping the number of migrants who can claim asylum at the border. This comes as a source tells ABC News Border Patrol is seeing an average of 3,500 apprehensions a day. Perry Russum breaks down the plan. Under the new southern border policy, after seven days in a row of more than 2,500 Border Patrol apprehensions, migrants claiming asylum would be turned away. The U.S. would only start accepting migrants claiming asylum again after there's been 14 days in a row of 1,500 apprehensions or less. There are exceptions for children crossing alone. But if an individual chooses not to use our legal pathways, if they choose to come without permission and against the law, they'll be restricted from receiving asylum and staying in the United States. The plan only applies to unscheduled arrivals at the border. Migrants who make an appointment can still claim asylum. Post Senate Republicans right slamming here. Biden's timing. Why didn't you do this in 2021? Why didn't you do this in 2022? It's a little late. This is a conversion uh, based on the proximity of the next election. In February, there was a bipartisan deal in place addressing border security, but then Republicans rejected it at the urging of former President Trump. The Republicans are more concerned about keeping this as a campaign issue than they are about governing and solutions. The border is a hallmark campaign issue for Trump. Who the hell would keep an open border? Who on earth can want open borders? We're going to end all of that stuff. Some Democrats warn Biden's plan could backfire. Being tough on the border, harsh enforcement policies, it's a mistake that Democrats make way too often. A spokesperson for the ACLU says they will sue, saying this puts thousands of lives at risk. The White House says the Department of Justice will be ready to defend against any litigation. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington. And this comes as Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has deployed the National Guard and sergeants with the Iowa DPS on different missions to the southern border. The latest Iowa DPS deployment finished in late April. The other deployment with the National Guard is ending in late September.